Hi, how are we doing today? So this video is all for group exercise instructors and I am going through uh, my daily routine on makeup for four classes and I do tend to wear more makeup now that I'm on the camera more than face to face. Um, but I do tend to try and make it quite light, um, obviously because you're constantly sweating and it's gonna come off anyway. So I tried not to put too much on. So I always start with this Urban Decay face primer. It's just a little bit of cream that I'm gonna put all over my face and I tend to not use any brushes. I do tend to use my fingers rather than brushes, just because I find it quicker, basically. Then I use this under eye fatigue cream from Becca Cosmetics. And just a little bit underneath the eyes. And I think it's got a little bit of menthol in it. Just to perk that area up, but then only a little bit. And then I tend to have a look to see if I've got any red patches. Um, I do tend to get a red nose today for red nose so I do tend to put a little bit of foundation on but again it's only quite a light foundation and this one's from Kiko and I've just put a little bit around my nose here and sometimes I'll put it underneath my eyes a little bit um, G from the sweating and things, I get, I get these little red patches here and here. So I tend to just um, pop that on there and any spots, any spots, just dab it on, just to cover them over a little bit. But I don't tend to spend too much time, obviously. And I have to say, I have got sun damage here. I've got some sunspots. So I do tend to put, put a little bit of this sort of foundation onto those. Just, just to hide them really. I don't, not for any reason, but just to try and even that skin tone up. Because if you're on the camera, sitting more, you can kind of see it a little bit more. I don't know if you feel that way. Let me know in the comments. And then I put on this Radiant Boost. Again, I do use quite a lot from Kiko. I don't think it's too expensive. Um, and due to having, you know, if you teach more than once a day, then you're gonna be reapplying. So if you use really expensive makeup, it's gonna cost you a lot of money and you're gonna run out of it really quickly. Um, so I do quite like this Kiko, but if you have another make that you like, let me know in the comments and I'd love to try it. Let me know what you think. Do you use this stuff or do you use another make that lasts well for teaching? I do tend to sweat quite a lot on the face here and, and it runs down into my eyes. Pleasant, huh? Again, let me know. So that just gives me quite a nice base on the face. Rhymes could be a two unlimited song. Oh, show me age now, huh? Okay, so I use BB cream with some pigment in it, and I use two because it's better for my skin tone. So these again are Kiko, not a paid ad, I promise. And I use number three and number four, which is number four is warm almond and number three is honey. So I just put them on the back of my hand, just squeeze a little bit out. And I'm going to show you something. So I just literally squeeze it onto the back of my hand, and as you can see, does that quite nicely. But this one is actually cracked there. And it's coming out of the of the nozzle as well, which is really annoying because it kind of goes everywhere and makes it really messy. So I'm just going to mix it up on the back of my hand and then just dab it all over my face once again with fingers, with my fingers. 
The only thing about doing it with your fingers that I have found is you have to make sure you wipe the fingers before you change your clothes or anything like that because you guess it, it goes everywhere and gets all on your clothes. So again, right into my hairline. And again, I'm going to apologise if you are a makeup artist, you are probably thinking, what is this girl doing? What is she doing? <laughs> I am more than happy to take your advice, but it needs to be quick because we don't have lots of time. We do not have lots of time. And again, I don't know about you, but when I teach, I need to make sure that I've done this in good time before the start of a class because it, if it, it needs to soak into my skin a little bit and sort of dry off, because otherwise it just comes straight off. Um, and what happened to me on Saturday, um, I was teaching and I think a little bit of hay fever, makeup, um, and sweat and got into my eye and my eyes were stinging, so stinging, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so I've covered my face, I've obviously gone down my neck a little bit. Look, see if I've covered, I've gone into my hairline. Just push that up a little bit more there. always got a wet wipe just to wipe the back of my hand because of putting it all over my clothes and having then to change my clothes before I'm going to teach which as we all know it's irritating is it not okay so the next thing I would do is I use a uh, this and this is I don't even think Dermalogica make this anymore it's day bright. It's a, got a little bit of, um, of colour to it. I just put it on my cheeks, just for a little bit of colour there. It's not. It's really nothing. It's kind of pearly. It's kind of a pearly colour. And all of my creams, the BB cream, that has got SPF 30 in it. Uh, the Daybright has got 15. So I am getting a little bit of coverage there as well. Um, and as I've said, due to younger years, where I used to like to sit in the sun, I do have some sun damage, and especially under this eye, but under this one here, just here, I've got some sun patches, some sunspots. So obviously I'm quite aware of those and want to keep them out of the sun uh, going forward. Thank you. <laughs> so, and the next thing I do is, again, I go back to a Becca Cosmetics and I've only just found these, but this is um, a powder, an under eye brightening setting powder. So I tend to, guess what, put it on with my fingers. I know, everyone take a deep breath. So I just dab it in, it's just on my fingers here and I just gently, Sweep it underneath my eyes. Yeah. Just underneath. And also, sometimes if I sit back under the light, I can see it's a little bit shiny here. So, just dab it on there. But I am going to put some more setting powder on but I just like that under my eyes, just to do that. So, I don't wear any um, eyeshadow, just because I don't want it in my eyes. And Saturday was a good example of that. So I use the, the Benefit Lemonade, and I just place that onto my eyelids, just to even out some color, 
there that I may have just some uneven colour there. So it just looks a little bit, a little bit better on camera, I think, um, than than not having anything at all. So we just put a little bit of that on my eyes, and then I will go with more Kiko stuff. So this is a setting powder, the Tuscan Sunshine Perfecting Powder, it's called. Um, and I just really dust this over my face, and this helps that makeup just feel less damp or wet on my face, if that makes sense to you. And I just helps just to, and I do use a brush, I know. I'm actually using a brush. So I just put that on just gently around the face and over the top and around. And it's just helping just to set that in. And like I said earlier, I need to make sure it's on my face before I teach because otherwise it just comes off. Uh, and gets in my eyes and I can't see which is not conducive to teaching is it come on instructors help me out here so the next thing I use is some of this now I can't actually remember where I got this from but it is fiber it is a fiber for eyelashes and it really helps my mascara stay on although I do use waterproof mascara so I'll put the link for this in the comments. So I just put this on my upper lashes, just on the upper ones, give it a good coat. And I do one eye and then the other, and then I might go back to the first eye. And then do the other eye. So that gives that to first eye good chance to dry off just before I put the mascara on the top. I'm just going to give that, these lashes a really, really good coat and try and separate the lashes as I go so they're not too clumpy when you put your mascara on. So that should be okay. And then I'm gonna go with, you know what? Maybelline Waterproof Mascara. It's cheap as chips. I can throw it away after so long. I, don't, I have not found a better mascara. So if you have a better mascara that doesn't cost the earth, then leave that in the comments too, guys. I'd much, much, much appreciate that. But you know, you don't wanna to spend too much. Like I said, it's just gonna come off. You may teach one, two, three, four classes a day, which means you're gonna to have to reapply. So if you're spending 16 pounds upwards on a mascara or any of your makeup, you're gonna be spending a lot of money within a month if you have to keep applying. So first eye, second eye over the top of the fiber that I've just put on and I think the fiber is really good because it isn't white it's like this uh, putty color I would say so and, and I go over more than once over each eye and just trying to split the eyelashes so they don't look too clumpy. And then the underneath ones, which you're gonna to have to lose me for. Just to do this bit here. Okay. So, and you can always reapply or put more mascara onto your eyelashes and it does make them look thinner. Um, and you can sometimes put the um, eyeliner underneath, 
but for teaching again, I just don't want all that makeup in my eye. Oh, one last thing that I do, I have this creamy coloured light clarifier um, and I just use that on the inside of here just to give my eye just that little bit of extra pop and it makes the whites of my eyes look a little bit whiter. And everyone's going, really? also use this as a lip liner actually which is quite nice so uh, that is it and if I've got enough time and before the start of my class I will use the all-nighter spray from Urban Decay however there's a caveat and if it's too close to the start of class do not use this because if this gets in your eyes it stings and makes your eyes water and again you cannot see what you're doing so depending on how close to the start of the class depends on whether I use this or not but cross and we're done leave it to dry perfect and then just before the start of my class I have a mirror just behind my camera where I put my lipstick on just before I put my mic on because what do mics do? They rub it off, do they not? So Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. Reshape and resize your lip liner. Anyway, so a little bit of lip liner. And I always do it on the inside of my lips not on the outside, although I have seen some of the makeup artists use it on the outside. But. And if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know how much I like bright lipstick. And one of my favorite makes is Queendom. And this lipstick here is one of the brightest ones. It's called Vibrant Fuchsia. How fantastic is that color? So, on it goes. I use it straight from the bullet. Again, no, no lip pencil. Sorry, no lip brush. And I always do my upper lip first. Oh, that's a good look. Upper lip first. And then I give them a bit of a rub together. So then, then I can actually see the line that I need to use. And I'm going to go inside that lip, trying to avoid my teeth. me if you have any questions. Take care now.